Where do the greetings come from? Well, the greetings come out of the announcement repository. If I go to the announcement repository and hit search, I'll see my list of greetings here. So how do they get uploaded to the system? Well, you have a greeting on your system as a WAV file. You can click Add, and then you can browse for that file. And if I browse around for some files here, I can pick the option I want, and I can upload that. If you try to upload a file that's not the right format, it's going to warn you, and it's going to say it doesn't like that. Tells you it's invalid. It has to be a WAV file. Now the WAV file has some very specific characteristics. It does have to be a WAV file. It does have to have some certain telecom specific characteristics. And typically, consumer audio software doesn't record it in these uh, these type of uh, settings. You need to have a more professional audio software. If you go out to the help, it gives you some help on this topic. You can follow these steps to record a greeting. You can also use a pre-recorded WAV file if it meets the specs. And if I take a look at the specs here, the specs are 8-bit, 8K mono, ULAW encoding. It needs also G711 codec, which ULAW and G711 tend to run together, and a maximum file size of 4.7 megs. Now, your software might not do this. So we recommend a program called Audacity. And you can download a free version of Audacity. Uh, I have instructions I can give you, and there's online resources that can uh, help you out with Audacity to convert the file to this format here. Or you can use your telephone to record the file. And the way we do that, we record a file from the phone. You want to make sure that at the beginning, you are receiving voicemail as email, as we spoke about in the user settings. You want to have your auto attendant script ready. You put your phone on to do not disturb, and then you go somewhere quiet so you can call into your phone. You call into your phone from that quiet place. Call into your extension and let go to voicemail. When you hear the beep, you leave yourself a message, and that message is the auto attendant greeting. You basically read the script. When you're done, you hang up and you have that message. If you make a mistake, don't hang up. Just hit pound and start over again. That way you don't have messages that you can't use. You'll get one message at the end. When you have that message, you're going to save that. It's going to come in from a certain email address. You're going to save that WAV file to your computer. Then you're going to basically upload that. You'll go back into the web portal where we were, services auto attendant. You'll upload that to the announcement repository. And then you can go off to the auto attendant and the menus and you can apply that greeting. There are other ways of doing this too. Uh, there's information available on the web here for how to call into the voice portal and record it. If you had to do it really quick and you were unable to uh, go through these steps, you could always call directly into the back door to the system, call into the voice portal, record an auto attendant greeting there, and it gets placed in immediately. This method of recording via a WAV file is a little bit more flexible, has a little bit more control. You can even pre-record messages for, say, holidays, or you're closed for an emergency, or you're closed for a blizzard or a snowstorm, uh, hurricane, whatever inclement weather in your area, and you can have that ready to go. And then you would just go to your menus, and you would apply whatever greetings you want here.